I don't know if this is ever going to make it to the internet. I don't know if this is ever going to be a video. I don't know what this is going to be. But literally, right now, you guys are going to be my therapist because your girl is going through it. So today is Wednesday, October 2nd. Cannot believe it's freaking October. I have been, it is around 11 o'clock in the morning. I feel like I have not done much today. But I did photograph about 15 items. This morning, actually, I just got done and I'm like, you know what? Let me go put some makeup on because I feel like crap today. Not physically, but I just feel like crap. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say it. I feel very little motivation. It's been raining for like two weeks straight, which I don't even want to complain about because of all of the people that have been affected by the hurricane, which I don't even want to get into because I've been so emotional over that entire thing. Got my period today, team. I am so sorry. Um, just so many things, you guys, and I'm feeling so overwhelmed. So I figured I would bring you guys in the bathroom with me while I put a little tiny bit of makeup on and just kind of talk my feelings out because I literally am alone all day, most days. Not all day, but during the day I'm alone. And then, you know, I interact with my kids at night. I have my kids every day. I'm the sole provider. I'm the sole parent. And yeah, y'all, when I say I'm a single mom, like, I'm a single mom. I do it all. So I'm pretty much alone. And the only human interaction I have all day is with kids. <laughs> Not only, but like, I don't get a lot of human interaction. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'm kind of going through it. Like I just feel so overwhelmed. And I feel like this has been such a topic brought up in a lot of my videos. I keep saying I'm really overwhelmed. I'm really overwhelmed, which <laughs> I am. I just feel like I cannot catch up I feel like I'm so tired all the time I feel like I'm freaking burning out like literally last week I think on Friday tough week I mean it's been a tough you know couple months to be honest with you tough year but last week it was just really rough I was just in my feels and not really in my feels I was just feeling just <laughs> overwhelmed and after a while of living like that every single day it really takes a toll on your body and so last Friday, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I even filmed two videos on Thursday. I'm almost positive that I filmed two videos on Thursday. And then Friday came, I had plans to photograph items. I didn't do a dang thing. Like typically, like Friday, I had those things go live already, thankfully. So I had those things go live on Friday. So I didn't feel guilty about that. Otherwise, I would have probably like felt really guilty. But I literally, I think I cross-listed those 10 listings that went live. I delisted and relisted some listings using Vendu. So I literally just had to click a few buttons. And that was about it. I responded to some YouTube comments because I had a video going live that day, already uploaded and scheduled. And I did nothing. I did nothing work-related. My body was literally screaming at me. And not even my body, mostly my brain my head like it was literally screaming at me like girl you need to freaking take a break or else you are gonna seriously have a mental breakdown no joke like that is not even exaggerating and i feel like i am just so tired so i don't have really a makeup routine you guys i don't really put makeup on but as you can see i put two little dots in my under my eyes i usually put this bb cream on which i've been using this for freaking years I used to put it all over my face I don't even know if this is my right shade but I put a little bit under my eyes so they don't look as black and blue <laughs> not black and blue so they don't look as like dead like I literally have bags under my eyes my eyes are so red underneath usually because I'm just freaking tired sometimes I will take my beauty blender to do this sometimes I will take a brush that I have to do this Sometimes lately I've been just literally taking my finger and I feel like this helps kind of make me look more alive. Yeah, anyways, because I don't really like, I used to, like I said, I used to put that all over my face. I don't really like putting foundation or anything on my face, not to mention I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. I don't really put anything on my face. Like I... Put a little bit of that BB cream on and uh, yeah, as far as face makeup, that's all that I really do. I would love to put more on. I would love to get into some like a little bit of like tinted moisturizer and get into like bronzers and blush. But like, first of all, 
my face is always red i don't need blush i have natural blush all the time like and i cannot be bothered like <laughs> But I feel like doing a little bit of makeup definitely helps. So I typically just put that under my eyes. Not that anybody is even asking. Sometimes we'll put eyeliner on my top lids with mascara. And that's literally it, it you guys. Like, I don't... If I have a special event or if I'm really feeling like I want to do something extremely special, I will put a little bit of eyeshadow on. Normally, it's just brown eyeshadow. Like, just neutrals. You know what I mean? But anyway, I, like I said, I'm really just feeling overwhelmed in all aspects of my life, in my business. I feel like, you know, I'm doing okay, but I feel like, I feel like I can't ever take time off and relax without it failing or crashing. You know what I mean? Like I am trying to get ahead as far as listings go, like I keep saying, but I can't seem to get ahead. You know, today I listed 10 listings. Actually, I didn't even list them yet. I didn't even list them yet. I started the drafts and I photographed them. I just have to add the photos to the listings for 10 listings. And like, I'm also planning on photographing a bunch more items today. I want to list some for tomorrow, get them live. Also, my mom is getting surgery on Friday in two days. I am taking her. Um, and it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of a big deal. Like, I'm not going to get into it, but it's not, it's kind of a scary surgery. You know what I mean? So that's been weighing on my head a lot. And then not to sound selfish, I just feel like I can't get any me time. You know what I mean? Although you guys, I have started a new hobby, which let me show you. If you follow me on Instagram, I will show you when I'm done doing my makeup. But if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen in my stories, I was kind of posting about it. I started this, I believe like three days ago. So I saw a video on TikTok a few months ago of this girl who did a strawberry mosaic. Okay, she apparently had like a strawberry vase, I think, that broke. And out of the broken pieces, she made a strawberry mosaic in like a wooden kind of frame thing. And ever since I saw that video, I could not stop thinking about it. And I'm like, I wonder how hard that is. You know what I mean? Not to necessarily make a strawberry, but I wonder how hard that is to do mosaic and to work with glass and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, this is the mascara I have recently been using for the past few months. I freaking love it. I actually saw it on TikTok, I think. But I want to order it again and I don't think they sell it or make it anymore. And I'm pretty sure this is just like the smallest size. But Benefit Fan Fest. I don't think they freaking sell it anymore because when I went to order more off Amazon, I even Googled it. Like I could not find any except for in like a big pack of like a bunch of different Benefit mascaras, which I did not want. So I ordered the Better Than Sex mascara. Why do I keep saying that, that like that? Better Than Sex Mascara, which by Too Faced, which I've always heard people rave about for years and years and years. So I'm like, okay, since I can't find this, we'll just try that. I hate it, you guys. That brush, that wand, like, I don't know what the heck. I don't like it at all. This mascara is probably the best mascara I have ever tried in my entire life. And of course, I find something I really like and... It's sold out. I wonder if you guys can hear that stuff outside. There's sirens. There's some, like a truck backing up. There's always a lot going on. I mean, I don't technically live in the city. Like I don't live downtown, but I do kind of, I do live close to a main road, but my goodness, like I don't really notice this stuff until I'm filming. But anyway, I don't even know what the heck I was saying. I don't know what I was saying, but oh yeah, I was saying like, I don't really have a lot of me time, which I know sounds freaking selfish. Like girls suck it up. You work for yourself. You have me time all day, but I, I can't relax during that me time during the day. Like that's my work time. And I can't, if I take a break during the day, or even if I take a day off and just do nothing during the day, I'm typically feeling extremely guilty. So is that really me time? No. At the end of every day when I'm done, all my duties and responsibilities for the day, being a mom, you know, doing whatever I have to around the house, typically I'm so freaking tired that I have about an hour of me time before I just absolutely crash out. And it's really draining. 
it's really draining you guys i did not start this video to just freaking complain though i promise i really was just feeling in my head honestly and so i figured i would turn the camera on turn my phone on and talk to you guys i say camera i film on my phone i don't have a camera i cannot afford a camera just so many things on my mind lately you guys like i trying to not get discouraged with certain things like for instance this big vintage fest vintage pop-up market was coming to my town i think i've talked about it in a couple videos it's huge like two-day event i applied for it months ago haven't heard anything back like i messaged them on instagram they were being kind of weird they messaged me back but then only replied once and then didn't reply anymore well i applied a second time <laughs> because I'm that bitch and I'm just like, okay, I'm just really want in, you know? Um, so let me apply again since it's been months since I applied, but I finally heard back from them like two days ago. I got an email saying, unfortunately you were not accepted. There was too many applications versus vendor spaces. And it has just been so honestly, it's been a roller coaster because I've been seeing them post on their Instagram account. Like I follow them on Instagram. They have a Instagram for the fest or for the event you know what I mean like a lot of events have Instagram accounts just for the event because it's an annual thing whatever I follow them on Instagram and let's I'm gonna take you guys out here and continue I forgot I made coffee like right before I went back there my second cup today I haven't eaten <laughs> like but I follow this event on Instagram and I kept seeing them over the past couple weeks like two weeks post about vendors that are gonna be at the event and I'm in I'm thinking like, I'm really thinking then like I didn't get in, which I didn't at this point. I know that, but that wait was so hard and I, f it kind of made me feel like I was in like a popularity contest. I felt like I was in school again. Like I was not the popular girl in school. I was never popular. I was bullied, bullied a lot, especially when I was really young in school. But I felt like, especially seeing vendors and people and businesses that I know of and that I have done events with before seeing them being posted being like oh yeah blah 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 they're coming to vintage fest and they would post new stuff every day and i'm like i just kept getting more sad and more sad like i really want in this event i really do it's huge it would be like it would just be really good for me like i don't know i don't want to be like you know it's all about the money but it would be i would make a lot of profit it would a lot of weight would be lifted off my shoulder let me just say that like i just <sighs> mm. I know it's out of my control. I know, you know, I'm I'm not in. There's no use in dwelling over it, but it's just I'm a little stressed. I'm not gonna lie. But on a positive note, I did. I applied for so in Maryland, actually, not even in my state. I live in Pennsylvania. There is something called Rosebud Flea, which is a you know, in the summertime they have pop-up markets multiple times a month, like twice a month once a month maybe but they are having a couple more markets they have two happening in october so i went ahead and applied for both of those the first one is on october 12th which is in it's not this saturday it's next saturday which i'm really happy about my friend cassie's gonna help me at both and then the next one is two weeks after that on october 26th that one is like a halloween party type thing which i'm really freaking excited about both at the same place and so I do have two markets on the books. I'm not getting my hopes up for those though, because for one, it's a free market. People can get in free. When you can get in free, I've noticed that people don't spend as much money. Like you can literally just come and hang out if you want. You know what I mean? Which this market is close to a college town or is in a college town. Like it's in Towson, Towson, Towson. Why can I never say that? Towson, Maryland. Pretty sure there's a college in that town is there I don't even freaking know but there must be because a lot of college kids come and shop there which made me think also that you know normally at my markets I have men's clothes I have women's clothes and when I say men's and women's I mean like you know vintage y2k younger and older you know all ages I also have a lot of kids and baby clothes there but I do not think since this is in a college town, I don't think that I'm going to take my baby clothes and I don't think I'm going to take my kids clothes either. I think I'm going to, because typically I would have 
or not typically, but at my last market, my last two markets, I had one rack that was kids clothes. And then part of that same rack, I had a $10 rack or $10 section. And then I also, it was a $5 section at my last event. I think I'm going to just keep it $5, just cheap items that I'm trying to get rid of. Still make a profit on because I only paid like a dollar. And then I would have one women's rack and one men's rack, or I would have like my women's would overflow into my men's because one, I didn't have as many men's stuff and two, I had a lot of women's stuff. For this event, I think I'm gonna take away the kids stuff, like I said. I'm not gonna bring my tote of baby stuff, which is gonna save room in the car and stuff like that. And then I'll just use that rack for more items. Like I'll pull out some more sweaters. I might bring some jackets. I have a couple of the like nature themed full zip fleece jackets, if you know what I mean. I have a lighthouse one and I have two like bear ones, those super thick like Sherpa, Vintage ones. They're listed for around $50. That's normally what they sell for. I've had them listed for a while. They all have gotten interest. But if they don't sell with before the market, I think I will use that third rack for some bulkier jackets and stuff. Some higher priced items like those jackets. I normally don't take a lot of jackets to my events. One, they take up a lot of room. And I didn't have room for them with the kids stuff. But I just... You can't fit as much on the rack with the jackets, obviously. But I also am thinking in my head for these events in the future, one of these days, I mean, this is on my ever growing to do list in my freaking head and why I feel so overwhelmed because I'm always thinking like, oh, one of these days, but one of these days I really need to get in there and look at all my market stuff. I want to set it all up on the three racks, which I might honestly do next week before my market. I might set up my three racks which they're all taken apart in my car right now. It's fine. Um, they're so easy to put together, but I might set them all up and kind of condense and figure out exactly what I want to bring because I have a ton of stuff too. Like there's a lot of stuff and I don't need to bring as much stuff as I have been, you know? But anyway, I have been rambling for so long and I feel like I haven't really said anything. So like I said, I don't even know if this video is going to go up. I don't know if this is going to be a thing on the internet, but thank you. You may know or you may not even know that y'all freaking help me. I need to do this more often because I am seriously feeling overwhelmed constantly. Like, I'm not even lying to you guys. I cry every single day. Like, for one reason or another, I pretty much cry almost every single day. Because, I mean, if I don't, I might just lose my mind and I might just scream. And <sighs> a positive thing, well, <laughs> sort of, when it actually happens and when I'm able to get in, it will be a positive thing. But I got on a wait list to one of my local therapy offices to try to get into some therapy, which if you know anything about mental health, I'm assuming it's pretty much the same everywhere in this country. But if you know anything about mental health, trying to get mental health help like therapy, it's hard. It takes a long time to be able to get in places. It's expensive. Like I'm very lucky. Like I will have to pay a copay, but not a ton my insurance covers most of it but i know but that's loud huh oh my goodness just was right here next to me what's that noise he has a trash truck oh my goodness big stretch i love when he spreads his little paws his little fingers <laughs> Mwah. it's so cute he hates when i get in his face like that but sometimes i just have to kiss him but, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, but, um, yeah, so if you know anything about therapy or mental health services, it takes a while to get, to get in places. But this has been something that has been weighing on me heavily for a while, something that I've been thinking about, especially since I ended my relationship with Paisley's dad in March, which at this point was March, April, May, June, July, August, seven months ago. How? That's actually mind-blowing. I feel like I've just been on autopilot this entire time since then. But ever since that, like, I just feel like things have been really heavy. Things have been harder. And uh, I just need some kind of release. And I feel like that is going to be very beneficial. I used to work in the mental health field. Like, I know that therapy is good. I advocate for it. So I really need to just take my own freaking advice and do it. So I took that first step. I reached out to my PCP who referred me to a therapist, which is actually the therapy office that I used to go to. I went, I say used to go to, I went to like two sessions years and years and years and years ago. 
and then never went back but something's got to give you guys like something has got to give but let me show you my cute hobby my let me show you my mosaic piece that I did I'm so freaking excited like I am like actually shocked with how good I am at this like I don't even want to sound conceited but I am not good at very many things you know what I mean like I'm not a very like athletic person I'm not very coordinated I'm pretty clumsy like I'm you know, so when I went into this, I'm like, I, I didn't have very high expectations. I googled some inspiration and then I thought about it in my head and I'm, and I'm like, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is a sunflower and freaking Jasper. <laughs> Why is he so freaking cute? Oh my gosh, his ears are moving right now. I don't want to draw too much attention. But yeah, I'm like, I don't have very high expectations for it. Like, I don't know how good I'm going to be at this. I don't know how it's going to look. But I want to try to do a sunflower. And we're just going to play it by ear. Like, we're just going to see what happens. You guys, I'm freaking obsessed. Now, it's not done yet. But let me show you. <sighs> so, except for this butterfly, every single piece of glass in here, this is all glass, Every single piece of glass I hand cut and made into the shape that they are. They are glued in here. This literally took three days. I probably spent like 12 to 15 hours. It probably took me doing this. But I'm freaking obsessed. Are you kidding me, you guys? Now, after the fact, I thought, wow, maybe I should have painted this wood piece white. But I kind of like the wood. So like I said, every single piece is literally hand cut. So these yellow pieces was a big sheet of glass. It was like an eight by eight, just one sheet of glass. I have this cutter tool that is for cl cutting glass for a mosaic. And I just went for it, you guys. And I feel like I freaking nailed it for my first piece. Now I'm kind of scared because like I said, it's not done yet. I have to grout this. Now I debated whether or not to do tiles on the outside trim of this as well. I do have some different colors, other colors, but I don't think I'm going to yet. I think I'm going to try to grout this, try to not get anything on this outer edge. And after you grout it, you know, it really makes it set. I'm scared to do that because I feel like it's going to mess it up. Like I really don't want to mess it up. Should I just leave it like this? You're supposed to grout it. You guys you are supposed to grout it, but I'm scared. <laughs> so I think I'm actually going to do that tonight, but I actually signed it as well. My very first mosaic piece. I am so proud. I am so like, I just can't get over it. If you look at all these pieces, like that little, that little tiny, tiny white piece right there was hand cut. All these little pieces and shapes. <laughs> and I think they kind of look like sunflowers. Like a little bit they do. So I will keep you updated and we'll have to show you how the grouting process goes. I'm hopeful that it goes well. I'm hopeful that it doesn't absolutely destroy this piece, but I think it's going to be okay. And for reference, you guys, here's my little, um, thing full of the little glass pieces but these white pieces started out like this and then the brown piece is the same and then like I said the yellow was one big sheet of glass and this is what the cutting tool looks like it's wild it's fun breaking glass who knew it would have been so fun I don't know, but I freaking love it. It reminds me actually when I do it with this, reminds me of cutting nails. It's kind of funny, but I am just freaking obsessed. I need to figure out what I'm going to do next because I feel like this is going to be an ongoing thing. This butterfly, like I said, I did not shape that. Obviously I bought a thing off of Amazon, a mosaic pieces, different shapes. There's stars, hearts, moons and butterflies and I thought it just added the perfect little touch and then I thought after the fact like wow okay I could add a little butterfly because I love butterflies I could add a little butterfly to each of my mosaic pieces as my like little signature touch but anyway that is a little update on that I don't even know you guys what the freak this video was it says that I've been filming for literally 30 minutes 
which how I don't know I'm gonna get off of here I'm going to go eat some freaking breakfast some brunch because I'm starving and then I'm gonna film a Goodwill Binks haul for you guys because that was my original plan and then I'm like I mean if I'm being honest I really didn't feel like it like I really just did not want to film I was not in the headspace I was not in the mood to film I have just been going through it you guys like I said but thank you for like giving me this space to vent now that I've kind of vented and sat here and chilled for a couple minutes I feel a heck of a lot better and I think like I said I am ready to film this haul I'm excited to film this haul and actually in this haul there's going to be a giveaway for the resellers at university so that will be in my next video definitely stay tuned for that definitely watch that you do not want to miss it and then I also have two packages to open you can see right there from viewers which I'm going to be opening in my next video as well I'm really excited about that I've not opened them yet but I am so freaking grateful and blessed and at the end of the at the end of the day I do have a lot to be grateful for and I really hope this video did not come off complainy I feel like in a lot of my recent videos I've just been complaining a lot I've been emotional I've been I've just been going through you guys and I'm alone like I don't really have a lot of people to talk to um so I mean I do but just something about not texting like I could text a ton of people but I don't want to text I also hate talking on the phone so this is a great kind of supplement or whatever for talking to somebody face to face but anyways you guys I'm gonna stop rambling now I need to go feed my belly feed my brain so that I can actually function for the rest of the day it is now 11 38 and yeah I'm not gonna be stressed out it's okay I had a video go live today I'm gonna take some more photographs later and all is gonna be well I do not have to go to the bins the rest of the week that's another thing you guys the bins have been terrible like, I don't even want to complain about that either because some people's bins are way worse than mine are on a terrible day. But typically when I'm at the bins for four hours, I can find a cart full of items. You know what I mean? These past three trips. So yesterday I went to the bins. I got like 35 items, something like that. It was not a lot. Last week I went two different times. Both trips, again, got about 30 to 40 items, which is not very good. I normally get 50 60 if I have a cart full 70 items like two weeks ago one of my trips I got 100 items and that's really good for me nowadays especially because I've been a lot stricter but coming home with only 30 items after four hours like it has been a struggle it has made me get in my head even more like oh my goodness like if this keeps up how am I going to sustain this business which like come on girl it's just it's fine it's oh it's gonna be okay like the bins are not doomed. It's not every trip is amazing. Not every week is amazing. Anyways, you guys, I said I was going to stop rambling and here I am continuing to ramble. <laughs> but if you made it to the end, drop a sunshine because you guys are all sunshines in my life, literally, and you don't even know it. So I freaking appreciate you. And this is definitely a different video. I'm sure a lot of people clicked off real freaking fast. But if you didn't, I want to know who you are and you're a real one for real. But thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you. And I will see you in my next video, which will be this bins haul with the giveaway. <laughs>